Hi everyone. We've had a few questions online about how to calculate the present value of the least lecture demonstration because of something I didn't do in class. Instead of trying to write the entire response, um, what I thought I'd do is just to show you how I actually calculated it. So the first thing that we need is the cash flows in the question because like in any present value situation we need to see what the cash flows are and when they actually happen. So in the question that we had, there were the regular cash flows of sixteen million dollars. Sorry, I should say sixteen million one hundred eight thousand two hundred thirty-six dollars per year in arrears for five years. It's a bit of a mouthful that number, uh, but as you'll see, there's a reason why we ended up selecting that as the number. In addition, there was a fifty million dollar guaranteed residual. What I'd like to do then is to draw up a timeline. So we draw it all the way through, make sure we get the right number of years. And we have the five years set out. Now I'm just gonna show the millions. So we have $16 million, $16 million, $16 million, another $16 million, and then 66. Now the reason we do all of this is because of the information that the question has provided us. So the $16 million starts at the end of the first year because the payments are in arrears. We incorporate $50 million in the final payment because the $50 million is guaranteed. And by guaranteed, that means that the lessee has to make good at least $50 million at the end of the lease whether this is returning the asset, whether this is paying in cash, it is guaranteed that they are going to be paying $50 million at that point in time. If the residual is unguaranteed, then the lessee doesn't have to pay that and you would not include that amount as a cash flow. Now from this point, all we need to do is to discount these rates, sorry, these amounts, using the discount rate provided so that we have a present value sitting here. Now the rate that we've been given in the question is 7.5%, which in a way is an annoying rate because we can't use the present value tables because they only have um, full percentage discount rates. So that leaves us either the formula method or as I'll show you in a second, we can use an Excel spreadsheet uh, to work this out. Using the formula method, we take the cash flow and we divide that cash flow by 1 plus the discount rate, all to the power of what period it is. So after the first year, it's to 1. We then repeat that for the remaining years. And what you should end up with is five calculations. You work them all out, add them all up, and you should get pretty much spot on $1 million. Or should I say $100 million. Uh, if you're out by a couple of decimal places either way, uh, there's just been some rounding and it's not, not a problem. The problem with this though is in an exam or just simply sitting down and working it out can be quite time consuming. Um, as I said, with this percentage rate you can't use you can't use the appendices to work it out. There is an alternate way which obviously can't be used in an exam, which is an Excel program, which I'm just going to show you in a second. So we'll get rid of this. And what we see here is the set of cash flows being the $16 million a year for five years plus the additional 50 coming up in the fifth year. And what's sitting on the right hand side is the formula that you would use um, to work this out. So it's equals NPV bracket 7.5%, so you just put in whatever the rate that you want to use, comma, and then we put the range of cells 
where the present values are, so where we we get the cash flows are. So the $16 million is the first cash flow, and you take that down through to F12, which is the very final cash flow. And if you work that out, it will give you $100 million as well. So that's really quickly how I went through it and calculated the $100 million. Um, I urge you to use one or both of those methods just to make sure that you're comfortable with it, with it yourself. Um, and I hope that helps. Right, thank you.